Hello, my name is Dan Lewis. I am an archive specialist with the Louisiana State Archives, a division of the Secretary of State's office. My primary role here is working in the multimedia department at the Louisiana State Archives. Um, I maintain the Louisiana Digital Media Archives, which is a repository of video and audio assets uh, made available to the public. One of my favourite features of the Louisiana Digital Media Archive is that it's completely searchable. You can use keywords to search through our video clips if there's any areas of interest, maybe a political figure or a historical event. Um, it's quite likely that by uh, searching through the Louisiana Digital Media Archives, you'll find a clip pertaining to that. So one of the challenges of working with multimedia is quite often the, uh, the cases, the field is so rapidly progressing that some of the media forms are uh, being made in obsolete uh, year by year. Um, we refer to these obsolete mediums as legacy media. So you have to take great care in uh, using these um, legacy mediums and uh, I have, uh, for example, here um, two older cameras. We have a, a beta movie camera and a, uh, a mini DV camera. Um, quite often, these are the only uh, methods we have for playing back and digitizing some of these, uh, these tapes. One of the other challenges of working in multimedia is uh, because these collections have been donated quite often, they haven't been stored properly and they really weren't made to last forever and ever. So uh, in the case of film, for example, um, they tend to become very brittle and they uh, start to degrade rapidly if they're not stored in an environmentally controlled facility such as ours. Um, one of the telltale signs of uh, degrading film is uh, it tends to start to smell a bit like vinegar. Um, in the case of these magnetic tapes, Really, the more you play them, the less data they hold anymore. Like uh, they, they tend to lose quality and eventually over time, they, the tapes themselves can also break. Mm -hmm. On site at the Louisiana State Archives, we have an, a large environmentally controlled warehouse uh, which stores a lot of our assets. The assets have often been donated by either members of the public, some state agencies and some local news agencies uh, such as WBRZ and WWL. Quite often the film has uh, come to us in either film cans such as this uh, and sometimes they haven't been stored in the best way and uh, they're in varying states of decay and condition. Um, so a lot of our task is to go through these uh, collections and uh, find out the best ways to transfer these to digital, uh, to a digital format and make them available to the public. Uh, due to the large number of film reels that we have, we often send these out, to, uh, out of house to processing companies um, and the same with our tapes. So the reason we send these out to uh, other companies is quite simply because to transfer uh, film or tapes, um, it really is literally real time. So if there's two hours of film, it's gonna take two hours to transfer. So hundreds and hundreds of these uh, tapes and film reels, it's not really conducive to have a small team such as us to, uh, transferring that much film and, and media. Some of the more interesting footage we've received as donations to the Louisiana State Archive collections um, have contained some of the uh, historic political figures of America um, it really is fascinating to be, in some cases, the first people to witness this footage played back in uh, decades. And uh, to see these people moving and to hear their voices is really uh, something that's quite fantastic. One of the most fascinating uh, film reels that we've received actually had Lee Harvey Oswald handing out communist uh, propaganda pamphlets in the streets of New Orleans um, and uh, I don't think anyone had actually seen that before because uh, really even though he's one of the most infamous figures in American history he has relatively little uh, recordings or images of him um, so that was really really cool to find uh, an asset like that. 
Okay, so I hope that's been an insightful look into the multimedia collections at the Louisiana State Archives. If you'd like any further information, feel free to look us up online or to visit us in person. We look forward to hearing from you.